Um, one of the best things we have in town is the Monroe Food Pantry. It's where people can go um, to really pick up um, a week's worth of groceries. And we need volunteers to come down here and stock the shelves and, and help go shopping. Um, we aren't uh, we aren't bound by some of the same uh, restrictions, uh, or they're not bound by some of the same restrictions as some other social services. But when people are really down and out to come here uh, and need to come here. Um, They'll always, they'll always be uh, welcomed when they need uh, the assistance. And I think it's great that the people of Monroe get together and um, help out. Great. Okay. Um, we probably won't fit it all. You can go three high. Um, just fit as much as you can. Okay. Basically what you said that, uh, let me like, talk to Pam. Yeah. Um, I'll help you. So what, what generally does the food pantry need the most? You know, right now we need everything. The shelves are just really low. In fact, I haven't seen the shelves this low in almost four years I've been running the pantry. And I attribute that to greater need and fewer donations. And it's just a sign of the economic times right now. Um, so, yeah, I mean, normally I would say, you know, we don't really need pasta. We have lots of pasta, but I need sauce. Or I don't need peanut butter, but I need jelly. Right now, I really just need everything, everything. yeah. Um, what, what typical... Except method? right now, not coffee, I guess. No coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, you know, in one month, in, in October, 60 to 75 families will come through. Everybody will want a can of coffee. So this isn't even enough to get me through October. So mm -hmm. I was joking. I do still need coffee. Um, you said everything. Yeah. Well, I think you're doing fantastic jobs. And I think Monroe needs more people like you to come and uh, volunteer, you volunteer their time and uh, to coordinate programs like this. It's one of the best assets I think Monroe has. Yeah. Well, and I think, I, I really think that the people in Monroe want to help. They just need to know what what should I do to help. Right. So, you know, right now I do need some volunteers to help get the food out of here. But mostly I need people to organize food drives. I need more food on the shelves. So I need people to think about their workplaces, their scout groups, their church groups. and. Well, raise food. One of the things that I think might be a neat idea if people are having birthdays or anniversaries, you don't, they don't need anything. Bring food for the I've food had pantry. I've had a couple of people do that, and I think that's such an excellent idea. I just, I, I remember the first time somebody called me and said, you know, we're having an anniversary party, we're, we're having friends over, we don't need a gift. Could we just have people make donations? And monetary donations are good too. Um, then I purchased things, like the SpaghettiOs you were putting away. I purchased a case at a case price, um, so I looked for, for good deals and used donated money that way. Well, that's good, and if I can help in any way to get the word out, I will. I'll put this information up. Thank you. You've up. done a lot. I appreciate it. Well, you're more than welcome. I think it's, uh, I think it's a fantastic, uh, fantastic that we have this availability here. So Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Ready, Gridley.